Hello, I'm James Ingram. Welcome to the first AutoControls.org 3-Rail O-Gauge DCC video. And this video reflects my understanding of these DCC switches. I, I am new to O-Gauge. What we're working up to is in a future video, we can show a NCE DCC automatic control system controlling one of these O-Gauge locos. We're looking at the bottom of the Selco S2 locomotive, and this is a premier locomotive, and you can see on the uh, bottom here, hopefully there's a switch in it. It's got a, uh, a DCS and a DCC position, and I've got it thrown over to the DCC position. So when you're running on DCC, you've got to make sure you throw the switch. MTH says if you if you get the switch in the wrong position on the wrong system, it won't do any damage to anything, but it may pull a, a lot of current. Um, it, and referring to the kind of the uh, where you find these switches, the the Proto One engines were sound only. The Proto Two engines added DCS capability, the digital capability, uh, but not DCC. And then Proto Three. When it came out about 2011, they added the DCC capability. And uh, as I understand it, all the Proto 3 engines from 2011 to the present have that DCC, DCS switch that you see here. The, the uh, Rail King engines had that from 2011 to about 2014 then the switch was removed. So if you find a Rail King engine made in that three-year interval, it may have the switch. But if it's a newer one, it will not have that switch. The decoders themselves inside the locomotive had the D DCC capability, but the switch isn't on the engine. You've got to uh, get somebody to add the switch for you or add it yourself. There's a jump... Add it yourself... There's a jumper wire in there, and if you cut that wire, on a, now this is on a Rail King engine, if you cut that wire, it will run on DCC, but then it won't run on DCS. So basically, I think what this switch does is it connects that jumper wire. If, if you push it to the DCC uh, position, like I've got this one, it opens that connection, but if you push it over to DCS, it, it connects, essentially, you can say, connects that jumper wire again, so it'll run on, run on DCS. There's a document uh, that MTH sent me, uh, how to add a DCC switch to a Rail King locomotive. You can see up here, the title is adding a DCS slash DCC switch to a Rail King engine, and they go through the steps, and they mention here that not all engines have a switch opening in the chassis, so in, in some places you might have a slot to put that switch in, and, and in other cases that that slot may not be present. Now, if we go to the second page of this document, uh, it mentions uh, that wire, the jumper wire we were talking about earlier, when it says we have these two wires connected through the switch, and the switch is closed, the engine is in DCS mode, when you flip the switch so the two wires are not connected, switch it open or down, then it is in the DCC mode. And this goes back to what I was mentioning earlier, that as, as I understand that if you cut that, just cut that jumper wire, it would be in DCC mode, but then you couldn't run in, in DCS mode until you either reconnected those wires or put a switch in like this so you could reconnect it. Um, in, in this this document, uh, and the other drawings, they're on the web page also, and there's a, a link to a Google Drive uh, album where you can access the original PDF as MTH sent it to me. Now here's the uh, bottom of a Proto 3 Rail King diesel uh, that I just got back and some kind and talented repair person in southeastern Pennsylvania was kind enough to take the time to add the switch for me. Uh, you can maybe see there's a, a switch right here 
and that's the DCC DCS switches added to a Rail King loco. And he told me this particular loco already had the slot and the holes for the screws, so all he had to do was add the switch. And it's and I'm sure that doesn't I'm sure this doesn't show in the camera, but over here it's still embossed in the metal, you know, DCS on one side and DCC on the other side. And like that MTH publication said not all the locos apparently include the the slot or the holes, but this one did. This is a uh, SW1200 uh, uh, switcher diesel. This is looking at the the rear of the diesel here, where the uh, where the uh, switch has been put in.